Hey Cancer, what's up? Welcome back to the Illus Illuminator for your reading. Let's see what is going on with the person that you are involved in. Let's see what their true feelings are for you. What is going on in this connection for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising? Mm, bittersweet, confusion and dissipating. This looks rather like very bitter person right now. Um, very quick to jump to conclusions or make some judgments based on not much leverage. That's what I feel when I look at this. Like this looks like someone that is not really taking a lot of action. Uh, perhaps something happened here in the recent past with this bittersweet that gave them a very yeah, like a weird sour taste in their mouth and they haven't been able to get out of that energy like something has been tormenting them. Um, I do feel like they are trying to avoid getting in contact here. They're trying to kind of like avoid themselves with whatever like Netflix or just chilling. Just not really a very proactive energy, right? That's what I'm seeing here. And that's all due to something that has been said or done here with this bittersweet. And I do feel like this impatience is just kind of like saying they are very easy to jump into conclusions or to make assumptions and judgments without really having like a, like, like, clarity on things. I don't know. I'm just getting a very weird energy from this individual. It's like someone that is that isn't fully awakened. Let's see where this is going. Why is this person feeling this way? Let's just figure that out. Why is this person feeling this way? Towards Cancer, please. We've got the Two of Wands. We've got the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. And we have the Judgment here. I mean, it, it could be that they feel like you've chosen a new path, like you're, you're, you're choosing to be with someone else or to hang out with other types of people. Uh, whatever it is, it all comes from a choice that you have made here in the recent past that make them feel like they were left out. Um, they are confused because they're not sure whether you are in a relationship or not. That's how it looks like to me, like confused, stuck, okay, Cancer might be involved with someone else and they're not really going after what what makes them happy. They're kind of like accepting that you're you're going towards a different direction. And this person, like I said, they are not awakened yet. This person needs to go through a huge awakening. Like they, they're not seeing things clear. They're judging situation. Like what did I say about this impatience? They're judging. A situation without having all the answers and that is the awakening awakening is the judgment card so again an impatient judgment has led them to withdraw and not take any action however they're trying to avoid communicating here with you that's what I'm seeing let's let's Move a little bit deeper here, like how do they truly feel about cancer here? Wow, Seven of Swords reverse. So they feel like you you ghosted them uh, and you walked away, you distanced yourself, like mentally, emotionally. Uh, there is a huge distance, that's how they feel about you. Like you haven't been completely upfront and honest, that you couldn't tell them that you were involved with someone else. I mean, like I can't really go out out of this message because it's just like very direct here like it feels as if they feel like you had a third party and you didn't really communicate this clearly so they are a little bit afraid that you will break their heart or that there is someone else involved here and that you're not speaking up about it you're keeping it a secret here 
Yeah, secret, secret, secret. Look at that. The moon here as well. On the five of cups. Like, they feel disappointed that you didn't tell them that there is another option involved. Like, they were hoping to be your end-all, be-all. Right? Obviously, you can shift the energies. Like, maybe they were the ones that did that to you. But the way that I am reading it, it feels like they are accusing you for having a third party. Whether that is the case or not, I mean... That's something else. It could have been like a simple post of you and a friend on social media, which they just jumped to the conclusion like, hey, they've already chosen someone else. Like they got very personal about that. And they made up like this whole scenario in their head that you were not honest. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And there could have been a, a, a totally different intention behind you withdrawing like it could have been because they were acting wishy-washy they weren't very clear or you got very confused energies from them and you were like you know what I'm going to focus on my friends or my family or just enjoying myself and that just switched a lot of things for this individual the hey oh, the hangman why did I say that the temperance card The devil and the queen of cups is how they feel about you. Bottom of the deck, this comes up very often, but we have the four of cups, the moon and the eight of cups. So again, I'm getting this vibe that this person feels rejected due to a decision that you made here. Um, <coughs> I feel like they have been trying to keep their composure or trying to stay balanced in this situation. However, I do feel like their obsessive emotions are going to take the overhand. Okay, this person is completely obsessed with you. I do feel like they're checking up on you. Um, but the problem is that they're holding back too much. They're holding back their feelings, their emotions, but I feel with this devil, it's going to be exploding. It, it, this feels almost like a emotional explosive energy that you can expect in the near future where they're going to be all dramatic or all, um, you know, emotionally attached out of the blue. And it's going to be, and like I said, it's going to come out of the blue because right now we're seeing that they are just dissipating time. I see a lot of detachment energy here and a lot of restless energy. So they're trying to keep their peace and their rest. However, it's going to explode because they're not going to be able to control their feelings or emotions. Say like you're going to, like maybe you bump into them or you see them and all of a sudden, like emotionally, they're going to be very triggered and they're going to be opening up and it's going to come in a very, a dramatic way because the devil could definitely talk about some dramatic emotions that could be revealed definitely with that four of cups and the moon this person is just sitting on a feeling of rejection and they're making it bigger and bigger and bigger you see that with the moon it's like they, they are expanding their fears they're expanding their feelings of rejection which could lead to almost like being angry like how did cancer do this to me and they're keeping this on a lid, right? Like the moon is saying that they're not communicating this very well. They're being secretive about this hidden emotion. And the hidden emotion is the rejection. Let's see what your... What, what is this person going to do in the new future? Like, what is going to happen here? We've got the Eight of Pentacles. We've got the hangman. Wow, nice. They're going to be working on a, on a mental shift, like a perception. This is a new perception. Uh, they're trying to see things from your point of view, or they will be trying to see things from your point of view. I think that a lot of things are going to get clear for this individual with time. There is definitely divine timing at play. First of all, they need to let go of... Um, 
of this judgment that they have over you. Like they, they see you in a, in a different daylight and they need to work on their on their own better judgment. That's what it looks like. The Four of Swords also indicates here that they really need to sleep over whatever this opinion in opinion is. Like this person definitely needs to awaken to the truth here. Nine of Swords. I see this person really worried and stressed out. And I just don't feel like they have a lot of reason to. I just don't get that. Let's see what your energy is. I want to know what, what, what happened with you. Is there something specific Cancer did to evoke this, provoke this. I mean, what I see here is that you got disappointed in this person, but you kept it all to yourself. You withdrew your energy because you saw something that really triggered you emotionally. You got upset uh, and you kind of like withdrew your energy here. You held back here. And that's, for them, a reason to think that maybe you chose someone else. Well, that's just the whole miscommunication that I am seeing here. That's definitely a miscommunication. Maybe something else disappointed you. Maybe it didn't even have anything to do with this individual. Maybe you just needed some time to understand your own feelings and your own emotions. And you weren't really in a space to... Explain them why you feel this way. Maybe you were going through your own healing. You were searching for some sanctuary, privacy. And you weren't ready to open up about this disappointment. We've got the natural world needs you. So maybe this is going to be a time for you to open up and be more vulnerable to tell this person what is bothering you or what has been making you feel so sad or stuck. Whoa, okay, what goes around comes around. Karma. So this person is going to feel exactly the same way as they made you feel, perhaps when, when they ghosted you. Uh, now you have something that you need to work on emotionally and you go to them and now they're feeling upset because they're like oh cancer is doing the exact same thing back to me like you know what i mean like they feel like you are doing some type of payback which is not the case obviously because you're just dealing with your own feelings and emotions you're trying to sort that out but this person feels like you're trying to have like a comeback at them because because of what they did in the past. Intoxication, distorted view and overindulgence. Yeah, they are overindulging themselves in a distorted view, maybe watching things that they're not supposed to watch or, <clears throat> you know, that's what the devil can be. That could be like chemicals or addictions or watching a lot of negative things or negative news or things that can definitely influence this person. And they are ge getting intoxicated by that. And because of that, they're starting to have like a distorted view of you or of the situation because they are exposed to too much drama and negativity. A wonderful idea, the aha moment. So there's definitely a huge breakthrough that is about to happen in this connection. This is their aha moment. So something is going to be revealed. Spirit will not allow this person to move forward with their life thinking in a wrong way about the situation or about you. Right, let's see. Last but not least. Nothing is yet set in stone and meditate and contemplate. I feel like you're already in that meditative energy. Uh, but as far as for this connection, nothing is yet set in stone. So don't give up hope or uh, feel like every all the cards are played out because that's not the case. Things are still changing. The energies are still shifting for the both of you. 
that's what I have for you, my dear friends. I hope that this message resonated. I will be continuing this reading. For more depth, you can always visit theillustilluminator.com or just simply check the description box below. And if you are interested in getting to know more about our a spiritual retreat in Mykonos and my new collection of my jewelry lounge. Keep on watching this video because there will be uh, more information about that at the end. So thank you so much and I'll catch you soon. Ciao! everybody welcome back to the channel i am so grateful for you all to tune in again it's been a while i know i've been quite offline on youtube but i've been working very hard on a lot of projects and i want to share some of that pro some of those projects with you uh, first of all i've been working together with a wonderful wonderful team on creating our first spiritual retreat which we are going to be doing in Mykonos, Greece the 17th, 18th and 19th of June. So that's what we've been working on very hard behind the scenes. So I really, really hope that I would see some of you guys show up on this very special, unique retreat that we are organizing. For me personally, Greece has been a major, major catalyst in finding my soul's purpose. And it has, a, it has such a beautiful story to it. Uh, back in 2015, I believe it was, uh, was my first time that I went to Greece and I remember I was hiking in a small little island, uh, it was in Kos, I believe, and I, I biked into some type of a um, lane and at the end of that lane on top of a hill there was a small little church as we all know about uh, Greece culture, they have these small little petite churches and I do know that uh, the year before that and the, the exact year that I was there, I was really praying spirit to bring me my soul's mission. Like I knew that I had to do something special on earth that I did not know what it was before. And I was, as most of you know, I was getting very frustrated because it, it was not getting to me. And, and I knew spirit had something special in mind that I didn't even know about. So I do believe that um, Greece really brought me that spiritual purpose. And when I went into that church, I um, lit up a candle with the intention for my spiritual mission to come to me. And I remember that I felt like there was someone, someone or people in that church as I was putting in my intention into the candle. And the moment that I opened my eyes, I looked around and I was like, there is no one here. And I just kind of like got a little bit scared because the presence of the energy within that place was so strong. Like I felt people or someone around me and I'm looking around and I'm like, there is no one here. How is that possible? So I went out and I'm just looking around. It's just like in the middle of nowhere and there was absolutely no one there. And that moment I knew like, okay, there was a huge spirit here, um, probably heard my, my calling. Um, and later, that, later on that day, I went into some type of souvenir or a supermarket. And I remember that I found like these uh, crystal necklaces. I forgot to bring it with me, but I, ha I still have it here. 
and it said like Sagittarius crystal stones but back in the days that was definitely not a common thing like crystals were definitely not a common thing to find that easily I mean it obviously you could find but it was not something um, that was just like everywhere so that felt to me like okay hey there is there is some type of direction that I'm being guided to because when I was a child I used to um, collect a lot of crystals and then I kind of like release that dream or not the dream but the hobby to collect crystals and nowadays we see overall online like it's like it's it's the most obvious thing when it's when it comes to spirituality right so for me you know Greece has been super super potent in the energies and with this ancient um, gods and goddesses it is definitely a place to really discover yourself and really discover your soul path and north node and your soul mission and whatever you're supposed to do in um, in this lifetime so I am very very excited to announce that we want to create a beautiful retreat where we are going to be putting the focus on first of all to release any karmic energies and then to attract um, and manifest on the new moon of Gemini, whatever your dreams and desires are. Uh, we've been working really, really diligently on creating this program with multiple people. And I do know that we are a little bit short at time because yeah, the Mercury retrograde really hit his heart. Um, and I wasn't able to get this video out or get the videos of the he said, she said out as well. So we are a little bit delayed in uh, announcing this and I know that many of my subscribers are um, spread over the world especially in the US um, we are trying to keep it a little bit open um, it is very sacred um, we have two villas so it's going to be not that many people that can participate to begin with uh, but if there is troubles when it comes to short time bookings, then we are able to maybe ex uh, extend it until September. So all depends on you, obviously. So yeah, let us know what you think about it. I have all the information in the description box below. It's on my homepage and as well as on um, the ticket link on the website. But all the information will be down in the description box below this video and yeah it's, it's going to be amazing it's going to be very magical and the team that we created is absolutely so spiritually based and super super talented and intelligent and uh yeah we're going to make the best out of it uh, let us know uh, how you feel about it and also if you want to vote rather for September let us know as well because maybe we can do another retreat in September and let's see where we end up next um yeah that's what i have for you guys so let me know your comments i would really really love to see all of you well, well we can't see all of you but i would really love to meet and see some of you that can make it even though it's a little bit short at time but yeah if it's meant to be it's meant to be and we'll definitely meet each other if not then at another place a second thing that I want to introduce is that I've been working really hard on my new Sakura collection, my new jewelry collection. Um, I have all the images and short little uh, clip for you guys at the end of the video of the He Said She Said game. So if you are interested, take a look. Uh, it is Mother's Day today that I am recording this. So happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. I know even that is a little bit short at time, but if you want to purchase, I have made a 25% coupon uh, that you can use on the crystals as well as the um, oils. So if you're still searching for a nice little gift for your mother or for yourself, you can still purchase, purchase that. So that's been my life so far. Uh, let's see how your life is going in the He Said, She Said game. I thank you so much for your presence and for your likes, your shares, your comments. And I really, really hope to see you in, um, in June in Mykonos. Thank you so much and I catch you in the He Said, She Said game. Ciao.